All right, let's take a closer look now at those local numbers. Mobile County now with 10 cases. We just received these numbers from the Alabama Department of Public Health. Baldwin County still at four, but breaking at this hour, the state has 386 cases. That's more than a 100 case increase in just one day. And also, as we first reported to you on Fox 10 News at four, we do have now a death in the state of Alabama due to COVID-19. That person lived in Jackson County, which is near Huntsville. The victim was an employee of Jackson County. And as you can see, uh, things look a little different again on Fox 10 News tonight. The team changing it up again. I'm anchoring from home again while Byron is back at the studio. Right, Lenise. Of course, we want to make sure that Fox 10 News can bring all of you the most vital information about this pandemic for you and your family, even if we aren't able to broadcast from our studios. Our chief meteorologist, Jason Smith, also broadcasting from his home tonight. All right, first up tonight, though, Byron, breaking new developments from Mobile. The health department teaming up with Mayor Stimson to give an update. And our Tyler Fingered was there. He's live with more information now. Tyler, the mayor says that he is not close to calling for a shelter-in-place order, correct? Yeah, hey, good evening, Lenise. That is exactly correct. He said it would be premature to do a shelter in place order right now. There have been conversations, but nothing that would be going into effect anytime soon. Another question I asked him was also about a proposed curfew. Uh, Tuscaloosa just putting one into place uh, starting uh, starting, I think tonight. I asked him about that. He said they are also not looking at that right now. It would also be premature to put one into place here in Mobile. Uh, one of the other things that was mentioned during this press conference today was talk about a scorecard revol involving four of the hospitals in our area that would aggregate data from them, including hospital bed capacity, current occupancy and confirmed cases all relating to this COVID-19 and coronavirus pandemic. Take a listen. They're working on a scorecard right now it's evolving. It's not quite ready to turn on to the public. Um, and it will reveal a lot of information that I think would be very interesting to the public. It's kind of still in a beta testing at this point in time. Yeah, we're told the city of Mobile IT department is working with the hospitals to be able to get that underway and get that all situated so that it can be released to the public. So pretty much everyone in Mobile would be able to take a look at that data. I just want to talk about the numbers. 10 confirmed cases here in Mobile County. The Mobile County Health Department confirming late today that there are two hospitalizations here of those 10 cases. So two people are seriously enough that the, uh, are seriously enough ill and seriously enough sick to require to be in the hospital. It's unclear, though, uh, what exactly their condition is. And I also want to mention one other thing. The health department says that they are going to be releasing more details about these cases once there are actually a lot more cases than just 10. They have to wait until there's a few dozen so that they are not con uh, not kind of uh, ruining uh, identifying any of these people who are sick. So we will be learning more at some point about the identities of these people without identifying them like their gender, their age, the age range, so that it could provide some details about who these people are who've gotten sick here in Mobile County. But that is going to be a couple more days away, possibly even a, a week or two until we're able to get that information. For now, live outside Government Plaza, Tyler Fingert, Fox 10 News.